Vision State, love this company. John, I don't know where to start other than you've lined everything up over the years. You've got your deal with Bunzel. Uh, what's going on? And, and if you could give the Investor News audience a quick update, please. Sure. Thank you very much. Um, so what we're seeing now is wide adoption of our technology. And I think a big part of it is driven by the fact that, uh, you know, even this year, we're seeing a very sharp spike in disease. Um, so we don't talk about COVID-19 as much, but, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, the emergency rooms are full of people with, you know, some variant of the flu. So our technology really became relevant after COVID-19, but what you're starting to see now is mass adoption. So we're seeing particularly um, success, for example, in the colleges and university spaces where you've got thousands of students coming in and it's a big cost to the facility if there's any type of outbreak. So we're, our technology is designed to ensure that the protocols behind the cleaning are met on a daily basis, because that's the front line defense against outbreaks. So, you know, we're quietly going along our way here and installing this in these larger universities. So, in fact, the parents can feel confident that they're sending their kids to a university that's serious about um, trying to contain outbreaks. So um, this is what you're seeing. And behind that is a whole full set of analytics on um, what this cleaning and maintenance process is all about, which our customers never had that before because it was a paper-based industry. So there's a huge shift now taking place in facility management, and we're on the forefront of it because our technology was there, developed and ready to go. We were simply waiting for market maturation, and we've reached that point, and it's demonstrated by our last quarter, which we did three universities all before January 1st, um, and another huge order from our big customer in the U.S., uh, which is, uh, you know, Wanda is in downtown Manhattan in a class A building, front and center. So clearly the technology has got the value where a big company like that would put the investment into it uh, because they see the benefit out of it. In our investor talk earlier today, we brought up, we, we started discussing facility management, your Wanda technology, and uh, everybody cringed when airports were brought up and airlines. Can you give us kind of an update on how Wanda can be utilized in both airlines and equally uh, discussed in our investor talk were restaurants? Would you mind giving us an update? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So those are two key um uh, target markets that we'll be going after in 2024. So our, our focus to date has been on hospitals, universities, shopping centers, those sort of things. Uh, but clearly there's wide applicability. You know, basically anything that needs to be tracked, Tracy, in terms of either cleaning or maintenance falls within our um, our, our mandate in terms of what our technology can do. You know, in the airline industry, I mean, how many times has people taken a flight and landed with a cold? This is nine times out of 10 due to the fact that the surface areas have not been cleaned properly. So what Wanda does is it makes sure it, it confirms that the protocols behind the cleaning in those um, scenarios is actually done and performed. And our customer has a, uh, uh, an analytics dashboard that they can look at that will tell them that in one quick minute versus finding out that, oh my goodness, our airline was just responsible for a massive outbreak, which obviously is not good for public relations on their side. 
you know, I, I mean, I don't know about you, Tracy, but I'd rather walk onto a plane that I know that the protocols behind the cleaning have been completed so that I can have a safe flight because that's part of a safe flight nowadays. I would say the same thing about the restaurant industry. Well, I want to make the joke here. Honda offers a clean sweep for your clients. <laughs> now, you like also that. you also brought up in this morning's meeting how you save money for your clients just by, I, I'd love for you to share that with our you know, uh, investor news audience. I think they'll find it fascinating. Yeah, so um, thank you. Uh, so um, part of facility management is efficiency. Are, are, am I delivering the services um, efficiently? Because frankly, there's very thin margins on uh, the uh, cleaning and maintenance of facilities, which is typically done by a contractor. So, um, you know, like I'll, I'll just give you an example with our time of flight people counters that goes along with Wanda, you know, that calculates efficiency based on my traffic, based on my consumption, based on my cleaning schedule and my delivery, the most optimal uh, from a financial perspective service. So, for example, should I be cleaning one area of a university with the same frequency as other areas of uh, the university that don't get the same amount of traffic. Clearly not. You want to redeploy those uh, resources and use them effectively in the areas that you need them. And you can't do that when you have a paper-based system. So Wanda and its analytics provides that information based on the information that we collect um, from the actual delivery of the service. When we started this morning, we were talking about growth challenges because you've made this deal with this billion dollar, multi billion dollar market cap and leader in, you know, facility maintenance, uh, Bunzel. I asked you how you're dealing with growth, and that's one of the many competitive advantages of Wanda and Vision State, what Vision State offers, which is that, you know, growth for you is. Like this, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, great question. So um, we've designed the technology to put the power in the hands of our customers. So in other words, what that means is that our portal, our Wanda portal, which customers have access to once they sign up to our program, gives them all the tools to be able to do this themselves, including the generation of QR codes, right? So, so you put a QR code outside an area, you know, the uh, staff scan it and, and they put in their information or the public scans it and they say, you know, something needs attention, right? So the system generates all this, Tracy. In fact, in 2024, we're going to be moving to a online subscription process where our customers don't even really have to talk to us. They can come to our website and sign up for Wanda, produce their QR codes, set up their rooms, do all of it themselves uh, with very little intervention from us. So uh, we built scalability into this right from the get-go because we knew that, you know, originally we tracked 10 items in a restroom. Now, you know, in the most recent university, it's 3,000 areas, offices, hallways, classrooms, you know, basically the whole facility because everything needs to be tracked. So uh, we knew that was coming. We built the technology in that, uh, with that um, in mind. And uh, now it's really showing the uh, benefits of that approach. And on that note, it's inevitable it sounds to me that what we're looking at as shareholders in the upcoming quarters is undoubtedly revenue being generated. So for everybody out there interested in Vision State, please go to their website, John Putters. As always, Happy New Year. It is a real pleasure to get an update on Vision State. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate it.